Okay, good afternoon. It is Monday the 6th of May 2024. Um, so we left the campsite, we left Martin and we have driven the very short distance to Saltrum House um, in Plymouth still. I've been here quite a few times but we've never filmed or anything. We have parked up there almost at the exit almost at, almost at the exit because it's it was about half 11 by the time we got here um and obviously the car park and everything is rammed because it's, it's a bank holiday monday so let me just so turn you around the actual house is down there somewhere we're there when the exit is just there as well um it's a bit of a walking all the way down here So Basil is way up there, just about to see him. Okay, as you come into this little bit of the car park, there are toilets and a disabled toilet and male and female toilets, bike thingy jigs, shop, and here is a little pond with some mandarin ducks, mallard ducks, and a oh, more hen. That's all I can see at the moment. Right, it's a better view of the pond. We've got some little ducklings as well. And some white ducks over there. As well. And some ducks up there. I don't know what they are. And in the top of that conifer tree, right back there somewhere, is a green parakeet. Okay, so we've got the pond here, um, and then we got like the stables here, which is the shop and stuff. Okay, what yard is sort of thing, which is very much like Killerton clock tower, stables, and whatever. Anyway, we're going back out here, just behind there, and here is the house, I think, somewhere over there. Oh, it smells something nice. And there we go. Do we know anything about the house? Yeah. No, absolutely nothing. Not that you can see in this camera because I can't zoom, but there's a buzzard up there being mobbed by two herring gulls. Last time we were here, we saw a buzzard flying around with uh, a dead rabbit. He was flying around for a few hours, wasn't he, actually? Yeah. There's also a ha ha freshly dug at the bottom. I'd say a cow is trampled down there. I see its oof marks. Hear yeah, that seagull? Um, yeah, all the times we've been here, we've never actually been inside the house. So we're going to, we're going to try. We're going to attempt it now. This is the first room, the entrance hall. Look at that. <laughs> right, so the Park and Family Homes ho owned Saltram from 1712 and transformed the 16th century house which remains at its core into a neoclassical Palladian mansion. There we go. So I don't know who built it first. 250 acres. There we go. I'm assuming this is the gallery or something, gallery room. Oh, 
Oh, the Red Room. Saltram's art collection. There we go. So the main photo. Photo. <laughs> <laughs> the main painting there is um, a Sir Joshua. Jo oh, can't speak. The main. Oh, starting. Therese. Right. That is John and Therese Parker, and it was painted by Joshua Reynolds. Uh, as is that one, and. Oh, I can't remember which one of these is. He's just said he's, he's just stood behind me. I can't remember what he said. Anyway, there we go. So we just come out of the house. Um, I think it was about the third room I was filming in, and then um, a, a bloke said, "Oh, you're not allowed to film in here." <laughs> so no one told us when we came in, though. But anyway, that's fine. Took some photographs. Have no idea. What Something they are to do now, with really. some artist. Can you remember the name of the artist? Something Kaufman. Something Kaufman. Kaufman. A lady artist. Um, she back whenever that was. Can you remember? No. No. Um, 17 something. 17 something. Uh, female artists were not allowed to paint portraits. Then she painted Sir Joshua Reynolds, Sir Joshua Reynolds because he saw in her, her like the talent. So she said, he said to her, "Oh, can you paint me then?" That's what he said, like that. Yeah. Can you paint me then? Um, and so she did. So he took it to the Royal Academy of Arts and, and showed it, and they said, "Yeah." She's she like she's quite good. Ladies can paint now. Yeah, they said, oh, she's well good. She's got she's got talent. That's what they said. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's the other side of the house. Behind me, there. You can There are lots of walks around Saltram. We're not going to do them all because of your bad knee, aren't we? Oh yeah. Blame it on you, blame it on you, haha. <laughs> so we're just going to like do the close grounds and the close gardens and stuff. Oh, that looks nice in front. Um, and then that's it. Mm, squally child. Um, I'm not sure what that is over there in that building. Or uh, that building looks something like a bit like an orange tree or something. Look at that though. Isn't that beautiful? I think you need to take a photo. And then you've got some wildy bits and daff daffodils. Oh my god! Bluebells in there. Oh, smell that wild garlic.